Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. And if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. So what will happen is you'll be asked to find the measure of what they're calling marked angles in a diagram. Let's focus on diagram four there first. So we said that these two angles are forming what kind of larger angle? A straight angle, 180, that's right. So this is like we had angle A and angle B before, right? But they have them marked in a strange way. <laughs> so instead of marking them angle A and angle B, they marked one of them 7x plus 3 and the other one 10x plus 7. And we're supposed to find the measures of those angles. And the method we're going to do is to find x. If we find x, we can figure out the measures of the angles. So we're going to use the relationship between the two angles. What was the relationship in this case? If this was marked angle A and B, ignore the x's for a minute. That's right. We said angle A plus angle B equals 180 degrees. This is going to allow us to set up an equation. What would the equation be with x's instead of angle A and angle B? A is what? 7x plus 3, good, good, plus 10x plus 7 was angle B, has to add up to 180, good. Usually, this is the hardest part, setting up, deciding what the relationship is based on the diagram and setting up the equation. However, a lot of people have forgotten how to solve equations, which makes sense. If you don't do it every day, it's not <laughs> going to stick, so let's practice. So those of you who might remember, what would you do first to solve this equation? Combine like terms and yes, and, and you're both really saying the same thing. You put the terms that have variables together, right? So 7x plus 10x is 17x. 3 and 7 is 10. So we have 17x plus 10 equals 180. Okay. So we have done what's called combining like terms. There are no more like terms, which means terms that have the same variables in them. So now what? Okay, a good idea. Remember, we can do whatever we want to both, as long as we do it to both sides of the equation. So I'm going to get, I want X to be by itself. So I'm gonna start by subtracting 10 from both sides. So we're going to get 17 X equals 170, good. All right, now I'm gonna ask you a kind of a weird question, but it's important because this is a common error that people make when they're not really thinking about it. Why is it wrong? I better write the word wrong so everybody realizes what I'm doing is wrong. Why would it be wrong to then subtract 17 from both sides of this equation? Very good, the operation See, the reason we subtracted 10 in the previous step, because the operation was addition, the opposite of that is to subtract. That ends up giving us 10 minus 10 is zero, it goes away. When we have 17 being multiplied by X, first of all, you can't subtract these because they're not like terms, right? But, but the guide, we shouldn't even really be thinking of doing that because the guide is the operation. What is the opposite operation of multiplication? Division, that's right. So really, I'm going to divide both sides by the 17, which gives me 1x, but of course you don't have to write 1, it's, it's understood to be there. So we just write x on the left and 10 on the right, okay? Now, Whenever you're working on an application problem, a word problem or a diagram like this one, make sure that once you solve for X, you go back to the beginning and check for what you were being asked to find. We're being asked to find the measure of the angles, not X. So if you enter the value of X, that's really frustrating in my labs because you get it wrong. Oh, darn it, I was supposed to find the angle. So how do we find the angles? That's right. So for example, in this case, angle B, what I'm calling angle B is 10 times X. So 10 times 10 plus seven, which is gonna be 107 degrees. And angle A would be seven times 10 plus three, that's gonna be 73 degrees. 
And what's a little mental check that you could do to, to just see if your answer makes sense? Add them up. What should they add up to? 180. And they do. So I'm pretty confident that I did the work correctly. Okay. Any questions about that one? All right. So that was number four. Let's do number five which is what we're going to do in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.